Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with something that I haven't done in quite a while, I can see, which is the uranium miners down under in Australia, the ASX miners. And, uh, and yeah, it's uh, it's been a while, so definitely a lot, uh, a lot of stuff to check up on. I just brief, briefly scrolled through the charts. I, hasn't, I have not been looking at them that much, I will admit that. Um, but definitely there are some constructive... Uh, things going on. Still, it's a bit dull. People are complaining. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, let's dive into, into the business. Into the business. I think I will start with the URM first and then the, uh, the Uranium spot price just to get get, uh, get that update out of the way. Well, not out of the way, but to have that in as well. Um, so yeah, definitely URM. We are just going to look at the daily. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on here last week, actually. We had that breakdown here, retest, and uh, and you can see if we go to the one hourly, there's a lot of stuff going on. I want to remove that here. So we had that breakdown, retest, and now we had this big this big pop here today, and then we grinded lower. We did stop at this golden smaller time frame uh, trend lines there support, and hopefully we can stay within the green uptrend and uh, and get back in above the yellow. That's very important. Uh, and uh, we will decide tomorrow if we break the green. And then I think if we break the green, then we will have we will have uh, the bulls will have to fight to keep this orange double parallel channel right there. The spot price we have to change here. We're going to look at, at it here. Nothing new. Well, nothing new, nothing new. I think it hasn't been updated yet. I'm just going to go I'm going to delete a lot of stuff here again. It's very difficult to do some technical analysis on this here. But anyways, we are roughly at 88, and my thinking is actually that this move will continue until we get to 100, because there we have a gap fill, and it's an even number. You know, we go, we are going from two digits to three, a uh, big psychological level. We will see what happens there, but that is my target for this entire move here, and uh, then we will take new assessments at that point in time. Okay, age here, daily. All right, age, age, age. Uh, alligator energy limited we have this green uptrend here which is holding which is nice and um, yeah actually very constructive for me uh, we had this two year sideways squeeze here big pop as you can see there while breaking the upper trend line of the wedge and uh, ever since we have been in in you know sideways action which is uh, very much um, it's nice to see you know big pop and then sideways action and uh, yeah as long as we hold the green uptrend here then we are in for some sideways action and then we will pop big time here as long as the green uptrend holds that is what is going to happen right here if we lose the green uptrend then we will also lose this horizontal here so we have a double support that will break i think at roughly 0 0.5 and then i think we could be in for a scenario where we actually go are going to correct quite heavily um on this chart but we have broken the wedge the trend is up and we have broken out and now we're going sideways i think we have like a 70 percent chance of this being a move higher a pen peninsula energy limited a bit of a different beast here actually it has uh, it has broken its its long-term downtrend which is quite nice to see going back 12 years ever since we have broken it it has been Holy smokes, excuse me. It has been, you know, sideways to down action around that long-term trend line. This is not something that I see very often, but it is what it is. It's well-defined. A two-year long, a bit of a fake out here. And, and often, you know, when we have a fake out, we always more or less often visit the lower side. Testing, testing. And then we had a big puke here, which I think, remember correctly, was a capital raise. So what I'm looking at right now is quite simply that smaller one, that smaller golden trend line right here. That is what needs to be broken inside this overall channel right there. I think if we break, we will have a chance at visiting that one here. We have a gap as well up here, so keep that in mind. However, that is what you're looking for in my view. Uh, below this, I think we are in, in sideways to down. Like if we can get above and get into the upper 50% of the channel, then it's a, it, it is a different take. 
And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. That is the one to look for. Nothing more, nothing less in my view. 9-2-E is also a very different beast, also a bit tricky to, to sketch in my view or to, to, to do analysis on. We had this big pop here in September 2021, boom. And then ever since, some sort of sideways, big, you cannot call it a bull flag because the pole is so small relative to the flag. But definitely some sort of bullish sideways channel here, well-defined all the way across the board. And we had that pop right there. We peaked it, we came down. Um, you can see there, that is really the one to look for. If you have an entry here, which we also looked at, that, that internal shorter term squeeze right there, that is a great entry. And again, you should just keep your longs. It is my take that we're going to resolve to the upside within this huge, huge formation here. And also we have this sideways of this horizontal level here, which we are just peaking above uh, slightly. So uh, so definitely want to look for here. But uh, but yeah, a bit of a different chart compared to the others. AEE, uh, a few things going on here, uh, short term and long term. I've added this red, it should be green. Ah, it's red, it's fine, it's fine. It's, uh, it should be red since it's resistance. I don't know if I like it or not, but definitely it has value, I guess. Um, but since we had that huge gap up here from the, I think it's a split here, then I don't know how valid it is. But nonetheless, looking at the shorter term, this one here is really the one to look for. You can see very well defined. We've talked about it many times, so nothing new under the sun there. And and now we're having, we, we tested it and we're coming down now, breaking the red one here, not ideal. Um, I don't know if we should have that flag there. We had some pennants also broken down. So short term, it is not completely ideal. Um, you can also also see if you add the Bollinger Bands, they are expanding downwards now. So definitely short term, we have we have some some pressure, and uh, we will see how low we go or if this is the low. You uh, again, we have you can see a lot of support coming across there. So that is the one we need to hold. Otherwise, we're looking for more downside really. Long term, I want to show you why it's important. Uh, what's going on with the churning here? Uh, it's messed up, I can see for some reason. Okay, long term, I don't know why it's so messed up. This one shouldn't be there. Oh, it is what it is. Okay, but anyways, we have that. Some sort of big inverted head and shoulders here. And again, the big level is to look for is that 0 0.36. But for now, short term, it's definitely uh with some pressure to the downside also after breaking that long longer ish term red support now resistance bannerman and good old bannerman long term you know the setup here all-time highs golden trend line hasn't been broken yet however also look at that entry down here again late 2020 beautiful and uh and yeah, what are we looking at here? The daily, the daily scoreboard is actually we had that break here, all the way up here, into resistance. The long-term golden trend line came down there, and now we're having sideways price action, huge move up, sideways action. Well, sideways to down, but look at the angle, the difference of the angle, right? That is, you know, like 70, uh, 70 degrees up, and then we have like roughly twenty percent down uh, or twenty degrees down here. So it is my take that as long as we just grind sideways, the pressure is building to have that break. Uh, you also have some shorter term stuff going on here. Again, we have a small, shorter time frame uh, neckline right here with that inverted head and shoulders. So when that triggers here, roughly above 2.85, give or take these highs here, then it should also trigger a measured move to here, meaning we will break uh, and then we will we will blast higher in my view. You can see it long term here. It looks very very constructive. That is a big one to take out. Uh, so Bannerman looks really really good here, coiling up here for the past two three months, and uh, and yeah nothing goes in a, in a straight line. You can see the same here, sideways action pop, and then you know even pullback obviously. But you well oh, but you can see we are having longer pauses here, and uh, and definitely. Uh, there will be tons of buyers above three, uh, roughly. Um, that's for sure. BOE, nothing new still. We still, uh, I think it's had above, we are above the, uh, the IPO highs there in a bullish 
still a bullish sideways to down price action. Bit of a peak below here, but we came right back above. So we have one, two, three lows, beautiful, with a false breakdown. And you know, if we have a false breakdown, we often get to the upper trend lines of that kind of formation. And I think that will be a blast off here again. I think that will coincide with banner and also going higher. You can see the volume here coming in after we, we pop back down. That is some short covering, but I would assume that there are still shorts down here. So again, I think uh, Boss Energy BOE looks looks quite nice. Nothing, nothing new there. Um, this is deep yellow. Actually, a, a crucial moment in time. That is the our often mentioned long term golden trend line. You can see it there. And what is happening now? I think the quick eye can see it break out. Boom, retest. And we are actually getting some sort of bidding at that trend line. Very important. Again, this is where you... Oh, I keep doing that stuff. I'm terribly sorry. This is your the big retest, low risk, high reward entry. You, you buy that retest, you have the stops below uh, in case it fails. Uh, having a big fake out here, that's not ideal. So therefore that... You're buying the retest here. You can also see a <laughs> message today, excuse me. You can also see some sort of squeezing coming up right there. Beautiful. So squeezing down towards a major trend line. Beautiful. And again, I think we're about to pop here again. Um, if you get a big green candle there with, you know, let's say 2x the, the volume down here, that's big confirmation for me for deep yellow. So longer term, deep yellow is doing some quite important stuff here as we speak. And you can see we have we have the highs from 2021 right there. So this will be the fight, right? Um, this is the big retest. So if we drop below, that's very bearish. And But often we have breakout, we have retest, we have resumption. And then if we clear roughly 1.37, uh, 1 that means that we have had we have had a huge pattern here getting broken out to retested and confirmed. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It doesn't happen tomorrow. Obviously, these are weekly candles. So, but if the angle have, has the same angle as the entry here, then definitely in in you know Q1 um, 2024. That is where we could possibly see the first test again uh, at the earliest, in my view. But definitely. Very impressive here for deep yellow as long as we hold the retest. Elevate here. Um, also looks all right, I guess. Um, well, it, it does look fine. You know, we have we had that breakout there from the golden triangle. Beautiful move up here. And now we've had made two attempts, you know, and that's when we make that high and go down. That's when we actually make a green, should be red here. Excuse me. There it is. And then we targeted again and we came down so what's happening here on the daily um, a bit of a deeper pullback that I would have liked but however it, as long as we can stay you know we have that high higher high and then we can make some sort of coiling here and that's exactly what we want to see not not looking as good as let's say Bannerman or Boss Energy but definitely it is in the runner for 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 uh, for something that it, that looks quite good, you know, we have a big pole here and sideways action, and uh, yeah, again, look at the angle. That's like 70, 70 degrees, and then we have some sideways here. That's like twenty. Flag, uh, excuse me, pole, flag, and usually, as you know, they at some point in time resolve to the upside. Lotus here, I really really like Lotus. That is a long term golden trend line. Bit of a fake here. Actually, it should be up there. Excuse me. Um, you can see the tag there, and then we came in, tagged it again, and now we are above. And what is happening above? A beautiful, beautiful, that's the golden one. And then we have some horizontal support here, should be uh, should be green at, at, as we speak. However, breaking out tiny bulls like there on the daily, going back, what is it, one month or so. So we have a tiny, a tiny, tiny flag here above the golden. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Again, if this clears to the upside, then you're looking at the big, a bigger move here, in my honest opinion, for, for Lotus. Um, clearing that bad boy with conviction and also getting above 
the green horizontal at roughly 0 0.3, uh, taking out two big, big, big resistances, the horizontal and the golden. If that happens, if this bull flag, you can go in and add in your lines however you may, but they look roughly like that, quite easy. If it resolves here, there is a very, very high chance that Lotus energy, or excuse me, Lotus resources will go way higher as we speak. That is quite a certainty. And I have a green parallel channel here. I mean, we could actually see some 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 quite amazing moves if we are to hit the upper green trend line of that uh, uptrend right there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is well defined. And again, if we get up there, I think that's a, a, a perfect exit of the stock here. Um, if you want to play that game right there. Um, but definitely this is one to look for. Have your limit orders in and your stops. Again, where should they be placed? In my view, if we break, you should have your stop somewhat below that green uptrend here. So give it some, some room. I know you, this is a, a small stock, right? Well, half a billion, however, we have, you are risking roughly, but this is 0 0.3 down to 0 0.22. So that in percentage terms, it is quite big. However, the upside, if this really gets going is, you know, the risk reward is just massive here. You have, you have like eight to one or so, it's beautiful. OKR, not the prettiest of them all. Um, we did, you can see here, we have that false breakdown here. That's a beautiful one. And then we just blasted higher. I love that. Whenever I see a false breakdown and just blasting in one direction, no sellers at all. Then I wanna see, you know, the first retesting coming in here and uh, and often it holds. However, now as we speak, it is somewhat grinding down here to the downside, back into the gold, not ideal. However, higher high, and hopefully we will see a higher low here and we can get back above. Maybe you have some sort of contraction here. That is your the trend line to look for, for possible move higher. And uh, and yeah, not, not the prettiest of them all. However, higher high, hopefully higher low. But we want to see something going here. Today's candle is not ideal, down 5%. So uh, so definitely, uh, it is not as clear as Bannerman, Lotus, or uh, or DBL, or that is for sure. Uh, PDN, um, Paladin Energy, long-term, fantastic. You, you know this, you've seen it before. Double golden resistance, now turned support, came out into the double, the double top from 2009, uh, uh, 21, excuse me. And what is happening now, I mean, it is long-term fantastically bullish. There's no way around it. Short-term, I've shown it before. I want to show it again. Look at the difference between this one and Bannerman. You know, Bannerman was, you know, no move up. And then we had this, you know, a very beautiful textbook bull flag. What is happening here is quite different. You know, actually, look at the angle, like 80, 70 degrees to down. And then you have like a 20% angle out. So this is actually a short-term bear flag that could get triggered. So if it does, you know, you could go down to a tad below 0 0.9, but still long-term be very, very bullish, right? Um, and again, just to, sh just to show you that there are different uh, setups here, you know, um, and definitely the long-term play is still up here. And uh, when do we think this could get, uh, you know, invalidated? I think obviously we need to, to get back out of that bear flag and test that high. Then I think this one is probably negated. However, for now, we are looking at a possible move here. As long as these green levels hold here, just, just a tad below one, then it's obviously fine. But uh, but yeah, this is one to look for. Again, I think you can have an entry here or maybe the deepest it could go exactly all the way down here. But I think if Bannerman, Deep Yellow and Lotus breaks out of their bull flags, I think this one will follow. I would be I would be surprised if not. <clears throat> SLX here, that's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. We covered this one here in this rising bearish wedge. We had the breakdown. And very early on, we actually added this blue wedge right here. And you can see here, ever since it's been within, and then we had a peak above here, some grinding, and then boom, blasting higher. Uh, so that's absolutely stunning here. Should you be buying here uh, after this big move here? No, never chase. But definitely the pull, you know, buy the dip kind of mentality is what is going on here. 
and uh, there's also the lower side of the of, uh, of that golden wedge here it comes up at roughly five uh, maybe it actually could coincide with a double resistance um but yeah that is a strong move here if you add the bollinger bands you can see here huge expansion as well i love it that's really really nice to see so if you see some sideways here i mean buy any uh any bullish breakouts any any pullbacks the way you want to play it is a buy to me in this uh in this stock here again obviously the first buy was the break there and uh but yeah that that's obviously too late so our equally weighted etf here still that is the the long-term play you know from 2021 and i want to remove i want to get rid of the bollinger bands obviously and there it is so we had that break here and then we are having a bullish pennant here uh and one way or the other, we might get a full retest, or if you break up here, that is an indication. Again, this is, a, this is an equally weighted, so it has it ups and down, but it, this is an indication that the ASX, the Australian uranium miners, is going higher. Again, I think if Bannerman, what is a deep yellow and uh, Lotus breaks out and uh, the rest will follow, then obviously this one will start to move as well. So we have the higher high, the higher low, after breaking out of a of a bullish to sideways uh, to down here uh, blue channel and the lows were they held quite nicely so yeah definitely if this is the case then i think we are going to target you know roughly 180 in this ratio and we are now at 80 so we have roughly a 100% move on average for the miners in um, in australia again don't put put too much weight on this it's equally weighted you know some of them you know, if we have a micro cap that moves 20%, it will move this a lot, even though it's only a few million dollars. So keep that in mind. Um, my lines are definitely gone here. But okay, this is actually our equally weighted ETF divided by the spot price. I think very quickly, we could just add in some lines here just to see where we are in time. And then actually, you can see now how I constructed here. We always take the highs and then you can see that is some nice... Uh, interactions here fake out here and then we came all the way down so in my view how i look at it here then i can clearly see right now then if if you drag it back what's there there it is that's beautiful we want to make it golden because it is our main formation so what we want to see now is we want to see how equally weighted etf break to the upside this should result in this one coming all the way up here and start to be a false breakdown right here and that is when you know it's game on false breakdown at the apex that is exactly what you uh, would like to see. Obviously, you would like to see the break without it. However, these moves down here hurts short term, but it's actually more violent when it actually, if it is the case, false breakdown, it's more violent because a lot of shorts are getting stuck uh, in the wrong area of of, uh, of the lines, really. So yeah, definitely. And for some reason, the lines came back. That is very weird, to be honest. You see, they came back here. Actually, it is extending here all the way to there. So even better confirmation. Uh, so definitely, let's see how that retesting is going. I think we could be close. Again, look at Bannerman. Um, what is it? Was it Boss Energy? Yes, Boss Energy. Um, and Lotus. These are the ones that looks the most promising, I would say. Uh, yeah, a long video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. It's been a while since I've, since I've been looking at them, but they look, they look, quite nice here again but as you know they always follow the american market so look at the urnm what it does and uh, but definitely there are some great entries um, when and if we break these small small bullish consolidations uh, consolidations below big 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 resistance um patience is always the key as you know the banner has really gone has done a lot so don't get me wrong right this was a Look at the move, right? Roughly 25x. So definitely, and then sideways action resumption. So Bannerman looks to me like it's it's one of the breakout here. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Long video. Um, I apologize, but I think we did a lot more detailed stuff here. Have a great one, guys, and we will definitely see you in the next one. Cheers.